Hey, good morning, millionaires, entrepreneurs, business owners, people who love what they do, people who are loving life. This is Anthony Akers, and I usually don't do videos, so this is going to be one of many, but two of my good mentors and two of my good friends, they do their videos consistently, and the response they're getting is is definitely increasing and definitely growing in numbers because they're putting out positive content. So shout out to Eric Bigby, shout out to Mr. Akil Bay. So a little bit about myself and why I'm making this video is, for those who don't know, in September, or actually September 15th, I received a kidney transplant. And I had been on dialysis since 2007, so there was a process for me to actually get to that kidney transplant. And I realized that I was asking for something, this is why it took so long, I was asking for a kidney transplant but not putting forth the actions that would get me said transplant. So what that brought about was doing some research, 12 universal laws. If you Google it, you'll pick them up. But today I want to focus on three of those. So let me ask you a question. Are you asking the universe for something that goes against the universal laws? I was. I really was. So to give you a little example, I was on dialysis. I was asking God or the universe for a kidney transplant, but I was smoking like a chimney. I was asking the universe for a kidney transplant, but I was drinking like a fish. It don't add up. It does not add up. So the first law I want to talk about is the law of action. So what that means is engage in actions that support your thoughts, dreams, emotions, or words. So that those actions of drinking, smoking, not eating correctly, those actions didn't support what I said I wanted, which was the kidney transplant. See, what I've learned is, okay, patience, persistence, yeah, those are one things. Believing it could happen is a big part of it. But if you're not putting forth the, the action that's going to be conducive to that thought that you have, that desire that you want. It's not going to happen until you change you. Luckily, I had a support system around me who stopped me or was trying to help me slow down my drinking. And definitely, I had some people on me about smoking and it paid off. So for free, I'm going to get this to you. If you got people around you who don't check you, and I ain't trying to be saying it to be rude, but if they don't call you on your stuff, then you need to find some new people because your yes men will be your downfall a part of your downfall. You need some people that's going to keep it real with you. So law of action, do the things that support your actions, excuse me, engage in actions that's going to support your thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. All right. The second law I want to talk about is the law of cause and effect. Pretty much what that means is you reap what you sow. I was sowing death by drinking and smoking. Thank God I had somebody, thank God that he sent somebody to help me stop sowing death. So I will reap life by sowing life, eating healthy, stop those bad habits, getting good night's nice rest, doing what the doctor said do. So re reap what you sow. That's pretty easy to follow. Pretty simple. The last law I want to talk about is the law of attraction. I love this law because it allows you in your mind to create the environment, the situation, the lifestyle, that, the life that you want. So if you're thinking negatively or not thinking positive about your situation, you're going to continue to get the opposite of what you really think you want because all you're going to get is negative back. So if you focus on the negative, you're going to get the negative. Earl Nightingale in The Stranger Secret, he said your mind is like a field where you grow things. Call it a farm. So if you plant poison, it's going to grow poison. If you plant positive positive words, affirmations, blessings over yourself, it's going to give you those things back in return. So you definitely want to keep your mindset. It's all about your mind. I don't care if you're physically limited. If you put it in your mind, things will change. I always had it in my mind, even through my craziness, my foolishness, my smoking, my drinking, that I would get my kidney transplant. But it wasn't until I put forth those actions and started re sowing good seed over my life that I got it. So I don't really like to talk. Like I said, I'm usually behind the camera, not in front of the camera. But let me know what you think about my video. And if there's any topics you want me to talk about, definitely shoot, shoot them over to me. I'll make sure I do my due diligence and give you some correct, positive information. And, yo, Google is powerful. If you want to know something, just Google it on your phone. Most of us got smartphones. Download the Google app and talk to it. Get the information you want.
get the information that you need, that you're desiring to do what you want to do. All right, y'all. Anthony Anchors, once again, God bless.